Welcome to Balances.com. Today we'd like to show you the new Sartorius M-Prove series. And Sartorius used to own Aculab until they shut down the brand. So basically they took the Aculab Vicon series. This is the Vicon. They changed the color from gray to white. Changed the keypad slightly. And of course, raised the price. We have no control. I mean, these are the marketing geniuses that uh, figure that uh, changing the color enables you to raise the price, I guess. But Aculab is no longer around. They basically, in their restructuring, shut down the Aculab brand and now have replaced it with a new Sartorius. This is the AY series, part of the Improved line. So I just basically want to show you, they are the same scales. The only difference is the color, and of course, the keypads pretty much are the same. Backlight display is slightly different, but I wanted to show you, this is the old, this is the new. And of course, you pay more money. So again, this is the AY303 from Aculab. And today, I'm just going to try to give you some basic uh, demonstration of some of the features. The scale comes with this draft shield or protective cover. This cover is designed so that you can stack multiple scales uh, together, like so. So if you were a school, you could stack multiple scales, and you'll see there's these four little pads here. They go right into the cover. So for a school that's looking to save space, that was their marketing idea there. The cover is removable, and you do need this cover when you're dealing with a one milligram balance. This is a one milligram, it's a scale. It has this little draft shield ring. This is only on the AY303 and the AY123. Now, these models have a round stainless steel platform. The diameter is 3.1 inches in diameter. The other models will have a rectangular platform, and that rectangular platform is going to measure 5.7 inches by 5.1. So depending upon which model in the AY series you purchase, you will have to uh, consider the weighing pan. So on the milligram balances, there are the smaller platform, and the spill ring only comes with the AY303 and the AY123. Some other features that I want to show you about this balance is it does have a sprint bubble indicator for leveling the balance. Although it's kind of small, this is what they've installed. I'd rather have a nice big bubble. It makes it a lot easier for balancing or leveling the balance. But that's the way they developed this product. Um, we get a lot of phone calls when we used to sell the Vicons. Where are the calibration weights? For some reason, I've, I've asked uh, Sartorius and um, Aculab why they don't they put a little tag here so a customer will notice, but they refuse to do so. Um, this is the compartment where the weights are stored, so we get a lot of phone calls. Where are the weights? The manual says the, the scale comes with weights. Um, for those models that do come with the calibration weights, I believe all the models up to 600 gram weighing capacity come. So if you buy a scale over 600 gram weighing capacity, the calibration weights are optional. But the cal weights go right into this little tiny compartment here, and then it closes. Um, the balance does, I'm going to just take off this platform, flip the scale over. The balance does have four adjustable feet, which are very nice. And you'll notice here, the battery compartment has a sticker on it because this scale cannot operate off of batteries. The milligram balances need to be plugged in versus on the balances that go to 0.01 gram and 1 gram, you have a 9 volt battery compartment. So again, be very careful which model you select um, because there's no battery on this guy. But if you go with a scale going to 0.01 gram or 1 gram, you do have a battery compartment. Um, the other feature the scale has is the ability to plug in a USB or RS-232 port. 
So this little compartment here, basically you open this guy up. And there are modules. Now these modules are optional accessories. This happens to be the USB interface. And that interface simply slides right in and you just push forward and this would connect to the PC board. So this is the USB module and there's a driver that needs to be loaded because they are emulating the USB. So it's not a true USB. If you want to go with an RS-232 interface, like if you were going to plug this into the Sartorius printer, it must be the RS-232 interface that you select. So this is the RS-232 module and again it just slides right in and you can see they're, they're still producing these in gray probably until they run out and then they'll change the color to white to match the scale. Um, again this scale does have four adjustable feet so I guess the the Vicon series did not have the adjustable feet this is you know a nicer feature but is it worth the price increase well it doesn't matter whether it is or it isn't uh, Sartorius raised the price there's nothing we can do about it. So um, this scale does come with the AC adapter. We have the scale plugged in and we just like to turn on the scale to show you the backlight display. Uh, it probably won't show up uh, probably won't show up with the light in here. But anyways the scale powers up and you can see they have a LCD display with backlight and you have the ability to calibrate the scale by just pressing the cal button and you can change the way modes now with Sartorius you can only toggle between two way modes so um, Sartorius does give you a manual it's a nice big thick manual the amazing thing is the manual for the US is only let's see out of this whole manual we have basically 22 pages. So this is our manual, and this is for all the other countries. We have no idea. I mean, Sartorius is a uh, German-based company, really believes in the environment, yet we have all this paper here. But again, we have no control over it. We just want to tell you, don't be afraid when you get the manual. Uh, do read it, but don't worry. You don't have to read the entire manual because all it is is... 22 pages and you can download this user manual from our website it talks about the configuration the setup and how to change way modes again on a scale like this you can only toggle between two way modes if you've had other Sartorius products you'll know how to use the scale right away if you haven't owned a Sartorius product you definitely want to read through this manual to get a better understanding how the scale operates so again we just wanted to show you the the new AY series from Sartorius. These are now uh, pretty much in stock. It's like a five to seven day lead time forum. They are assembled presently in Nevada, Colorado. We don't know how long they'll keep on manufacturing them in Nevada, but presently Sartorius has a facility in Nevada, Colorado. So again, uh, this is the AY series and we just wanted to show you the old series when they sold it under the Aculab brand very very similar um, Sartorius owns Aculab they also own Denver Instruments some people used to buy the uh, MXX series so really they're all the same scales just marketed under different brand names and of course more money uh, the premium product is the Sartorius line we are an authorized dealer you can purchase these at balances.com if you have any technical questions give us a call thanks for watching this video